Okay, here we have a three blank text completion, and it says philosophy, unlike most other subjects, does not try to extend our knowledge by discovering new information about the world. Instead, it tries to deepen our understanding through blank what is already closest to us. So let's read on a little bit so we can really figure out what that first blank is. And it goes on to talk about the activities, etc., that make up our lives that ordinarily, ordinarily escape our notice precisely because they're so familiar. So it's not about thinking, unlike other subjects, about new areas of knowledge or new information, but about thinking about things that are very commonplace, very familiar to us. And so it tries to deepen our understanding through, and I'm going to come up with my own word here, thinking about what is already closest to us. And it goes on to say that stuff that ordinarily escapes our notice. So we usually don't think about them because they're so familiar. But philosophy is different. It wants to think about these things that are so commonplace. So philosophy, therefore, begins by finding. Now I'm reading at the very bottom, second blank here. But philosophy get, begins by finding blank the things that are blank. Well, it finds interesting, this boring stuff. Stuff that is basically so boring, so ordinary, so familiar. And so we're going to better familiar for our third word. So just like that, we filled in the text completion using our own words for all three blanks. And now let's match up. First blank, we have rumination on, which means to think about something. So that is going to be answer choice B. For the second blank, something that's interesting. Well, D is essentially relevant. That's not interesting. F, thoroughly commonplace, is not interesting, but utterly mysterious is close enough to the idea that something is interesting or unique or different. So utterly mysterious works. And then the third blank, we want something that's familiar. We have here somewhat hackneyed. If something's hackneyed, it's a creative product that lacks any originality. It's just copied from something else. It's trite. It's same thing over and over again. And that's not quite what we're going for here. There's this negative connotation to hackneyed. But we want something that just means dull and ordinary, something you see day to day. And that word is prosaic, which is answer choice, G. Now, let's go back up here really quickly to the first blank, because I think there's another good trap answer here, which is the word detachment. So we're dealing with philosophy, thinking about stuff that's usually escapes our notice. Why does it usually escape our notice? Well, because we kind of have this detachment from it. It may be familiar to us around us, but we don't really think about it much. And therefore, detachment doesn't work because we're already detached from it in general. So philosophy isn't turning the table, so to speak, by being detached from it, but by actually thinking about it. So again, the answer, B-E-G.